Paula Deen is cooking up a comeback, Justin Bieber gets baptized, and Lil' Kim names her Lil' Girl. Those are just a few of the celebrity headlines that had everyone talking this week. Everyone. Join us, that's right, with her take on what's trending is pop culture critic Carolina Bermudez. Welcome, welcome. Hey guys, thank you so much for I having me. I love that name, it sounds oh. so tropical. Thank you, oh my name? Yeah. It's nothing like Royal Reign, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> yes, we will. Bit, right? But let's start with a quote from Paula Deen. Guess who's gone digital, y'all? Yes, y'all. <laughs> that's right, I can't believe she's gonna have her own network mm -hmm. online. I mean, really, is this surprising to you? I think this is the only avenue that Paula Dean could take at this point because no major network wants to touch her with a 10 foot pole. She's but will still she... radioactive? I believe she is. Yeah. I, th I think if there was interest there, she would have been picked up by someone else, and I think that's mm. the reason why she's doing this. But I do believe it's a brilliant choice because mm. everything is going digital now, that's you know. True. And I think that there's a lot of focus on the web. It's a subscription-based service or uh, website, yeah. so all of her loyal fans are gonna want to flock there to get the recipes that they enjoyed from her. So that's true. there are some people who will go on there and, and they choose to do so, and they're gonna have to pay for it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. and as long as it's uh, affordable then she may actually rack up a lot of viewers. Oh, yeah, so I have to chalk another one up for the white girl, you oh. know? <laughs> so. Carolina, your trip. All right, well, let's talk about the white boy, Robin Thicke. He's begging for Paula back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> begging. Yeah. Do you think it's going to work? He's going to name his new album after his estranged wife, Paula Patton, and he spent the Billboard Music Awards on his knees asking her to come home. Would it work for you? And do you think it's going to work on her? <laughs> Would it work for me? Yes. Never. Never. No Even a whole way. album? It reeks of desperation. Oh. Okay? I mean, it really does. And if you really loved your wife, you wouldn't be in this position to begin with. I because agree. Because there mm -hmm. were the alleged cheating rumors right, and the right. affairs and things like that. And I think that, you know what, you got to take care of home first. And by the way, let us be reminded, some things, it's okay to keep private. Yeah. It's okay to try to win back your woman in private. Yeah. I think that this is more of a strategic move on his part. Feels like a publicity stunt, right? I, I'm not getting the romance out of it. Mm -hmm. I guess some girls are just easily swayed and they think it's, oh, it's so sweet, but I don't know. I'm not buying it from Robin, unfortunately. I think he's a great artist. I'll listen to the album. Yeah. And are you tired of him, hearing him beg? Because Lola's like, I'm over it. Stop begging. Are you? I am I'm too. Over like, tired. I am. Stop. I'm so over it. <laughs> That's why I was saying, it's like, you know what? Go into the privacy of your own home mm -hmm. for, you know, maintain some dignity for yourself and for yes. your child that's going to see this a little bit later on. And you know what? Let's just, like, keep it moving. So, okay. Let's yeah. keep it moving and talk about Justin Bieber because okay. he begged first for forgiveness and then he just went and got baptized. <laughs> he found the Lord. <laughs> now, is this also a publicity stunt or do you think he's trying to go down the right path now? Well, you guys, I never like to judge anyone when it comes to religion. Isn't that nice? Well, well, let's go ahead. I was going to say, but I'm about to judge. Okay? <laughs> right. So let's get into it. That's now, why you're here. If <laughs> this is not a publicity stunt, then what is is. I don't know. You know, mm. because I think, and I'm not, listen, I am not fully versed on the Bible. I can't re, I can't recite scripture for you, but I believe that there is, um, you know, a saying in the Bible that says, you know, if you are worshiping, you don't go to the corner and shout it so that everybody sees you. If that's the, if that's the point, he should have done that in the, again, in the privacy of his own home or wherever he wanted to go with his yeah, pastor. Good point. And he could repent in silence and do something to make it better. But this is like, let me Instagram this in 15 <laughs> seconds and show everybody that I am like holy now, yeah. you know? So I don't buy it. Oh, yeah. Justin Bieber needs to take a little sabbatical, I think. I think some time Good off idea. would do him well. Yeah. yeah, you're right about that. Okay, Lil' Kim, you brought it up earlier, so let's <laughs> circle back to it. Her daughter's name is Royal, and her middle name is Rain. Mm -hmm. Not Rain like raindrops are falling on my head, no. but Rain as in the reigning monarchy. <laughs> what do you make of this name? Well, you know, I think that Lil' Kim has this issue with being royalty, rap royalty. She likes to put off the air that she is the queen of rap, yes. you know? Oh, and so I think the queen, the queen bee queen for many bee. years. Yeah, exactly. And so what does the queen bee have? She has royal reign. But, you know, I think that you're <laughs> setting your daughter up for failure. This kid, it sounds like a superhero name, yeah. you know, like. And so yeah. if this little girl doesn't really, you know, do what her mom thinks that she's capable of doing, it could, you know, affect her in the end. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just like so typical celebrities always like to find the most unique and crazy names, so... The but do they go too far and hurt the child in their upbringing? Because they're going to get made fun of. We totally. That's yeah. what I'm thinking, yes. I mean, if, if you think about it, 
Little Kim is not going to be on the playground in fourth grade when mm -hmm. Royal Reign is being taunted, you know? Yeah. But the hope is is that she's just as strong as her mommy and she can, you know, be a strong presence and a strong young woman. Who so. would have thought years ago that Gwyneth Paltrow naming her daughter Apple would actually sound like a normal name now? <laughs> right? I mean, trend. Apple's just normal now. Totally. And remember the Holly Madison girl? She named her daughter Rainbow Aurora or something <laughs> oh, like that. It's just like... Yeah. It, they and get... Jason Lee named his mm -hmm. son Pilot Inspector. Right. With a K. It gets wackier <laughs> and wackier. I think everybody's I think just trying to top each one other. One up each other, right, yeah. exactly. That's it. Yeah. All right, speaking All right. of children, child support. Mm. Stevie J. Stevie. Stevie. Uh, <laughs> Stevie owes a million dollars in back child support. Yeah. He sure does. And he's chilling in the mansion mm. on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> but the courts me. went after him. They want that money. 9000 a month. Halle Berry, they want 16000 a month for her. And we just heard about Mark Anthony. He's also got to pay up. I think these are... 7000 a month for two kids. But this is... I think these are two totally different situations, if, if I may. Okay. Uh, Stevie J and uh, Halle Berry. And let me just start with Stevie J. Okay. This guy missed over 168 child support payments. Oh. He was transferring money, allegedly, from company to company so that he wouldn't be found out by... By the feds. Mm. So you've got a 14 and a 16 year old who are about to start their lives in college yeah. and really need this money. Yep. Mm -hmm. Be a responsible father and pay what you can. That's you true. know, that's where I see. But like, as far as Halle Berry goes, there were a lot of people who were thinking that Gabriel, uh, her, Audrey, her, her ex, yes. was um, just out for the money. The way I look at it is Nala is accustomed to a lifestyle that her mother has set up for her. Mm -hmm. So you don't want her to resent her father because when she goes to daddy, she doesn't get the name brand things or the lifestyle that she's been accustomed to. So I think it's important for them to maintain that sense of regularity for her. Okay. So, he, is, so. and he is a good father and he's been very present in her life since day one. I so, think he's in it yeah. for the right reasons. I don't think and he's one of these sort of like scammer gigolo types. No. They had a real relationship and he's very invested in his daughter. I so. agree with you wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The guy does work. I mean, he's a model and, mm -hmm. you know, I think a lot of people don't realize that a lot of those jobs are feast or famine. Sometimes you're hot, sometimes you're not, yep. but he's still making money. That's All a right, good point. Good point. Good yeah. point. Okay, so now TLC first slammed Rihanna for using sex to sell albums and of course Rihanna slammed right That's back right. on social media. <laughs> but in the bigger scheme of things, do you think think Rihanna should cover up more often or stop showing her assets all the time? Never! Yeah. <laughs> Rihanna, yeah. if you're listening, please, never ever cover up. Yeah. You don't need to. No. You're a beautiful young yes. woman. Celebrate it. I love Rihanna. But think I what she's going to have to do to top this outfit here. Well, this is going to come nude. No. She, she already <laughs> no, has. No diamonds, no crystals, nothing. I think, she's super, I think she's very creative. And here's what I like is that she owns her sexuality. And I think that she really is who she is. And it's just like, take it or leave it. And yes. so that's the one thing that I think that when we start telling Rihanna what to do, we're not going to get her authentic self. No. Nope. So I think that she was great for coming back at TLC and saying, hey, wait a minute. Let's post this picture and show mm -hmm. what you guys did back Hit in the, the day. Yep. <laughs> exactly. I love that she's unapologetic. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's her body, she's got it, so yeah. flaunt it. And girl, once you have a baby, let me tell you something, it's never the same. So, so get it in now. Out, right? exactly. I wish I would have taken bikini pictures before I had my son. Yeah, I tell you know. all my young friends in their 20s, I'm like, be as naked as much as possible in your 20s. It's do so it. true, do without it. shame. Yeah, do it. just yeah. be naked. If it's tight and it's not jiggling too much, be Go naked. For it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Well, speaking of hot, tight bodies, oh, yes. can we talk about the World Cup? Oh, can we? <laughs> yes. Did you see the guy from Canada? Cameroon. Yeah. I for, oh my God, I forget his name, but he is I do too, gorgeous. But I don't forget that backside. Woo. Oh my gosh. And okay, so up Shannon, and down the field. I'll take a break. <laughs> you guys go ahead. Let me know when you're ready but to continue. Shannon, uh, <laughs> no, let me tell you something. This, the World Cup for women, mm -hmm. is what the Victoria's Secret fashion show is for men. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Now I, I just get it. Shut yes. it down. You shut it down. Okay. I get it. Fair enough. Because that's what it is. These beautiful bodies on display, and then when they're really like excited, they take off that shirt mm. and they're all. Sweaty and they're glistening and they just yeah. look so manly. Oh my god, please. I'm getting hot in here. Your fan is down there. I know, right? Like, yeah. But and they're, they're like, go! And you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Lola's always staying on Ronaldo's picture extra long when we show oh, him on the show. Oh, he is amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know who else? Shakira, her boyfriend, her baby daddy, oh, Gerard so Piquet, nice. is the most delicious man. There's Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, mm -hmm. come on. He's just mm -hmm. like, look there at that. There we go. Hey. So do you have to be a model to play soccer now? Is that what it's come to? I, I prefer it. <laughs> I mean, I, would li I wouldn't be mad at that if you were. So. Here's uh, the thing. So with basketball, they're uh, kind of genetic freaks. I mean, yeah. you're a seven-foot <laughs> tall man. And then with football, 
you're like a fat guy in spandex. <laughs> you know what I mean? But right. with soccer, you know, I mean, they just have perfect bodies. They're a normal height. Mm -hmm. You know their endurance is next level because Please. they have to stay on that field for 90 minutes and run back and forth. So you know they got stamina. I'm with you. It's just a perfect combination. Oh. But like the thing I love is the quad. It's like, do you ever see their quads where it's like that definition right there in the, the middle cut. and you're just the like, cut. damn, that is so nice. Well, like, speaking ripples, of like bodies. <laughs> okay, Shannon. so speaking of bodies, I, in my favorite I, part. <laughs> is the I have to tell you about the exactly. body parts I like. I like big butts, but I'm not oh, talking, I'm yeah. talking about the song, of course. <laughs> so mixed like, I like big butts and I cannot lie. You have to check him out. Do with we a, have to change the subject? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. well, you, you'll be happy. Look at this video of him okay. performing with the Seattle Symphony. Okay. <laughs> I like big butts and I cannot lie. Uh-oh. Now, which move that she is doing in the black dress do you remember doing, Carolina? Oh, please, I would never. I mean, somebody go get your mom off that stage because that is, like, so embarrassing. Look at the one in the peplum. She is going to hurt herself. She is going to hurt herself. Seriously, that this is, like, move, though, I have I to know, give it to her. She right? was, like, excited. She okay, but like, is it just me or does everybody know those, that song? Do you remember the lyrics? Uh, uh, yeah, of oh, course. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I like big butts and I cannot lie. What? You other brothers can't deny uh -huh. that when a girl walks in with an itty bit of waist and a round thing in your face. You get sprung. Oh, 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 yeah, I could go on. <laughs> MC I, Carolina. That's okay. right. I do that when I'm moonlighting. I love how Sir mix was trying to be sophisticated with yeah. the Seattle Symphony. And then he gets up there and you get like all these rowdy moms out of control. Yeah. Was, that was a fun video. I there love that. It's like they drank Pinot Grigio beforehand and they're like, <laughs> it's girls' night. So that was turtle time for them. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Sometimes you got to cut loose. <laughs> If you watch Real Housewives of New York, you know right. that's Ramona. So. Turtle time. Yeah, yeah it's totally turtle time. You oh have gosh. to come back. Oh, so good. It's so great to be here. Thank and you, guys. And you know the celebrities are going to act up, girl, mm -hmm. so there'll be more to discuss. And I'll be back. All, All right, right. And we'll off camera, see you we'll talk soon. about the boys of the World oh, Cup. Oh, please, okay? I'll tell you, the guy from Canada. Oh, my. While they're doing amazing. this, you go ahead and tweet us what you think about all these headlines at Arise TV 360. We'll be right back. <laughs>